I'm at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Washington, D.C. at the start of NARI's Washington Leadership Forum. Joining me today is Bryce Blair, NARI Chair and Chairman and CEO of Avalon Bay Communities. Bryce, we've seen an increase in the renter community, and by all accounts, this seems like this trend is going to continue. What have you had to do in terms of meeting the needs of these tenants, and, and are you seeing anything different about this group of, of new renters as opposed to, to former, former renters? Well, well, Matt, certainly we are seeing some pretty strong fundamentals in apartments. Um, you're really driven by three things on the demand side. One is an improving economy, generating jobs and households, which is you know, very important for renter demand. Uh, and then secondly, a continued weak housing market as uh, households continue to shift uh, to rental over home ownership, and we're seeing that in the decline in the home ownership rate, you know, good for apartments. Uh, and then third, sort of to your point, uh, the demographics are changing, where the echo boomers or the children of the baby boomers, those in their, you know, in their 20s, uh, have different housing needs. And so that's, uh, they're primarily renters, and that's generating demand for apartments as well. Uh, those three drivers of demand are being met with, uh, uh, frankly, the lowest level of new supply in 40 years in our country. So very strong um, performance for apartments. In terms of specifically what we and others are doing is, you know, for this younger age cohort, um, tweaking our product a bit in the sense of um, um, uh, smaller floor plans, uh, lower price points uh, to attract the younger resident, um, and uh, shifting somewhat in the amenities. Um, think, you know, cyber lounge as opposed to uh, a library, um, sort of trying to meet the needs of the changing residents. And, and you talked about the, the incredibly low supply right now in the market, and Avalon Bay was one of the few REITs that, that actually maintained its development staff during the recession. W was that in anticipation of this expected increase in, in renters, and, and what's your new development pipeline look like now? Well, you know, we've been in development for a long time. We've gone through many cycles before, and while you do need to cut back in, in, uh, in weaker times, uh, we've learned that you should not shut it down. It is just too valuable uh, and too difficult to ramp that back up again. Uh, and so while we did contract a bit during that uh, 08, uh, 07, 08 time period, um, we began development again in the end of 09. We were the first department read to begin construction again. Uh, and we began about $800 million in 2010 and expect to begin a like amount in 2011. So uh, we currently have uh, over a billion dollars underway. Um, it is a core competency of the company and one that, you know, we expect um, to continue to, to grow. And, and with those plans for development to continue, acquisitions are also a, a core component of, of Avalon Bay's strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, looking out over the next year or so, where do you see the greater opportunity, development or acquisition? Acquisitions and development have both been key drivers of Avalon Bay's growth. Um, almost 20 years as a public company, it's been about two-thirds development, about a third acquisitions in terms of net new capital. So when we look really across acquisitions, redevelopment, and development, they play complementary roles. You know, the acquisitions allows us to, to both reposition the portfolio as we sell in one area and buy in another. It also allows us to grow the portfolio as we put net new dollars in. Our redevelopment activity allows us to reposition the portfolio to keep it fresh and to tailor it to the changing needs of the residents that we talked about earlier. And the new development is clearly an engine of growth, you know, adding net new uh, assets to our portfolio, um, particularly um, uh, being able to tailor those to the needs of the residents. So um, it's um, a real strength of Avalon Bay to have those three, um, ass you know, those three capabilities, uh, particularly so at a time, as we mentioned earlier, where the apartment fundamentals are just so strong. Bryce, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Matt. For Read.com, I'm Matt Bichard.